Okay, let's take a look at this. Why should I be considered to be a 2022 SEMA launch pad semi-finalist? Largely because I have invented Visor Buddy. Visor Buddy is a very innovative and um, smart auto visor extender. It's meant to block sunblock or sun glare, I should say. And um, it does so in a very small package and a package that is, is high quality in terms of manufacturing, but also much more flexible than the competitors that are out there. The product is called Visor Buddy. It's uh, located at visorbuddy.net. Visor Buddy is the smarter and smaller auto visor extender. It just clips on your sun visor in your car. It doesn't attempt to take over your sun visor like my competitors do. This one is an extension of the existing visor. It works with your visor, so it doesn't need to take over. It doesn't need to have a lot of plastic to do the job, which is to block sun glare, and it blocks sun glare as effectively as anything. What would this opportunity mean for me? Well, this opportunity would mean the world. This is like winning a first round financing from a list of investors that want to invest in my company. This would essentially accomplish the, the exact same thing. So it would be a tremendous influx of cash into the company, of course, and it would allow me to, um, go out and rent warehouse space so that we can take on a lot more orders and we would be able to take on a lot more orders and, and increase our inventory quite a bit if we were to win this great contest. What's the scariest thing you've encountered so far in your business? Really the scariest thing I've encountered so far are freight costs because of the supply chain shortages or disruptions, I should say, around the planet. The supply chain is disrupted and takes three times as long and probably twice as costly to uh, manage. So we're getting around that and I think we've done so pretty successfully, but uh, it's the scariest thing I've seen since uh, embarking on this journey. What have you overcome personally to get where you are today? Me personally, I've overcome a significant mental illness which had disabled a prior career and I have come through that successfully and with a conviction to try to help others and to help decrease the stigma of mental illness because you can be a very productive member of society and not um, don't have to be stigmatized as as uh, as can happen uh, when people are aware that you're dealing with some form of mental illness. So I'm glad to have overcome that and I'm proud of my journey and I look forward to being a successful company and being able to contribute a portion of our earnings to help decrease the stigma and get the word out that people with mental illness, mental illnesses are by and large normal people. They just have an illness, whether it's something like uh, 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 Parkinson's or, or, or uh, arthritis, it is, it is an illness. It just impacts the brain. But um, there's a lot of really good examples of people that have overcome their mental illness and have become very successful individuals. So I'm not sure people really know that, but if I'm successful, then they will. Thank you.